and a writer are looking for somebody who brings everything to the table. You know, who brings the part, who brings their vision, and particularly who bring their brain to the table. So that uh, they're aware of what they're doing and they're making conscious choices. a lot of patience for people who feel like they're downloading from the cosmos you know just like that's how it came out and okay great now let's make it better but uh, you know just writing from a place of understanding rather than from a place of fear where you're just grateful for any idea that comes along Welcome, friends, to Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gabiel. Hello. How are you? Welcome back. It is Tuesday. I hope you all had a, a good weekend. I want to thank... Um, it was Memorial Day, so I want to remember and thank uh, those who have um, served uh, for our country. And today is Pride Day, right? Na happy National... Uh, is it National or International? My bad. Uh, happy Pride Day. I'm thinking of all... Uh, my friends out there, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, I just looked on Twitch. There's a bunch of people streaming tonight. So thank you for uh, stopping by uh, my channel. I do want to say uh, thank you to Lizzle Hyde. Uh, thank you for subscribing. That's uh, three months at level, a tier one. 
that's good enough for an alert. We have a renewed subscription. I uh, thank you, Lizzle. Again, if you're new here for the first time, we do analog alerts here on the channel. Thank you, uh, James. Good to see you, uh, friend, as always. I uh, want to say hi to Corinthine, and we also have Amanda Panda. Amanda is the chat moderator. I was going to say the chat moderator with the mostest, but I it didn't it didn't rhyme but uh, thank you amanda as always for your hard work uh lizzle says i'm old no um i am old yes june is pride month thank you um yes and i want to uh, say that i am looking forward to i've been looking forward to this um i took the last couple of days off um my voice was sort of going yesterday but i, I think it's fully back today um i did some recording earlier today um oh amanda and john were uh they did board in east la i hope that went well amanda uh be sure to check out amanda to see if i can do this here um check out amanda and john um every tuesday at 3 p.m uh pacific brandon jars in the house hi brandon jar thank you for joining us uh casey hope you're doing well casey i saw you uh did a uh, an rpg the other day um I was trying to stay off the internet uh, this weekend. I, I would pop in occasionally. I just needed, you know, that sort of like social media break. Um, but I hope that went well. Um, RPGs, I, I, I love them. I, I'm looking forward to, you know, as we get back into real life here and real in-person gaming again. As much as I enjoyed like RPGs over Zoom and stuff, I'm actually looking forward to like getting together with friends and starting a new campaign in real life. There's just something about that camaraderie, you know, as, as you tell a, a story together, it's it's really fun. Um, then it says, power went out in the middle of the stream, so it became a just chatting stream, which was, oh, okay. Always uh, always a challenge with streaming, right? Brain Jar said, I did. It was such a cool experience. Can't wait to play. Oh, nice. That's good to uh, hear. What, what did you play again? I I know it wasn't like uh, 5e or anything, it's, um, but let, us, let me know in chat uh, what you played. And friends, let me know what you all played this weekend. I hope you had a great weekend. I had a lot of fun with uh, Tabletop Live Network. We did the 24 hours, as we always do at the end of the month, um, streamed with a bunch of channels, 12 channels, 24 hours straight, and it was a blast. Uh, Michelle and I, we got to play Floor Plan and um, Seven Summits from uh, Deepwater Games. A lot of fun. We, we love both those games, so it was really nice to uh, share it with uh, everyone at TLN. And then afterwards, the after party was so much fun. Amanda was part of it. Uh, Jesse from Heart Board Games hosted it. It was a board game scavenger hunt. And you may notice that my shells look a little different. Some of the games have been shifted around because we went crazy um, looking for uh, components in our games. Uh, Jesse, would just he had a list of things for each team. Like, hey, find a green meeple or find a card that has no uh, text on it. Stuff like that. So I had all these games off the shelf so I could uh, more easily access my games and Oh, it was fun, but I was I was pooped afterwards. It, it was tiring, a lot more tiring than I thought it would be. But uh, shout out to Heart Board Games. That was so much fun. I, I can't wait to do it again. I would like to see it become a regular part of TLN, to be honest. Um, we, we will see if it becomes like the after party thing. But I know that um, talking to the Brothers Murph, um, you know, we want to keep trying new things. We just want to, you know, let people be creative uh, whenever they take that uh, after party spot. Um, so... You know, the time before we had uh, Dakota do it, and then we did, um, uh, the Brothers Murph hosted one, and then um, we had Heart Board Games. So we're going to see what's what's going to continue um, as we move on here. But I, I really like that scavenger hunt. Um, Johnny Deathhack's in the house. Thank you, Johnny. Good to see you on here, Fred. Um, I did, it was such a, let's see, played, oh, Deep Sea Adventure, always a good one, James. I, you know, those Oink games... Again, they're so small, but they have got nice. They're always fun games. Uh, Johnny is rebellion training. Oh, that's right. You and uh, Case are going to be battle dueling in rebellion. I that game is so good. Um, I played it twice. I've lost twice. <laughs> once as the rebels and once as the empire. Um, I know the empire. You can can you stall it out? Is that where you try to or no? Do you have you have to find uh, the rebels before time the timer runs out, right? Um, both times, one time I got crushed, the other time was a really close game, um, but uh, my friend Patrick, I don't know if he's watching tonight, but shout out to Patrick, he painted all his minis, um, so all the minis look awesome in his ver a copy of Rebellion. We had all the expansions too, did all that stuff, It just, I really love seeing all the characters, like, I didn't think the characters would come across that strong in that game, but they do, they, they really do, and um, man, now I'm thinking about it, I really want to play that game again. I just saw Patrick yesterday. Um, I went to his house. 
Uh, we traded some games and just, you know, we, we do it every couple of months where we trade some games and sort of catch up, see how you're doing. And um, it was for, like he just started doing in-person gaming again. And unfortunately, the night that he does, I cannot do it. But so we started talking. I think we're going to do like a uh, just a two-player game night, just me and him. It's, I'm really excited about that. So we're going to play stuff like Acro Tiri, uh, um, uh, Rebellion. Uh, got a couple other two-player titles that we're looking really looking forward to. Uh, baseball highlights, one of my favorites. Um, Marion Jones says it was a polymorph risk system. Our pitch was called Oh Savage Sisters. Cool, and everyone takes a turn being DM. That's neat. Right on. Plumpy Thimble, Catan, Catan Dice. I've been curious about this since um, I see it every time I go to. Uh, curious about this since I go to Target. Yeah, um, I don't have the clam. It's a clamshell game. Um, it's just it's got the rules like this, and it's got a little score pad. That's pretty much it. Oh, and the uh, six uh, custom dice here. That's it. It's totally affordable, and I like it. It's a cool little version of Catan. Um, it is... Oh, speaking of, I, I want to shout out... Speaking of, Catan has sponsored this episode, friends, so um, let me shout them out in chat. I want to thank the team over there, Morgan, and um, the entire team at Catan for sponsoring this episode. They've been a actually a longtime sponsor of the show here, uh, so thank you. Y'all, stay hydrated. I don't know if y'all got this, but they have some really cool Catan brand and stuff in their Catan shop. Um, by the way, I pronounce it Catan. I always pronounce it Catan. I think you can do both. But um, just in my in my research uh, over the since last year, getting to know uh, the team over there and just doing a little more research, I've found it was Catan. The, the Siglers von, von, von Catan. My German's terrible. It's non-existent. I'm not going to lie. But uh, I, I go Catan, but I know it's it can be done both. I've got the, Michelle and I got the tumblers or the uh, water bottles. We also have, um, it's not on the wall. I had to take it down. Here, I'll take it. I'll show you. We've got the Catan clock, which I absolutely love. Um, the last time it was on the wall, it was around 2.15 um, p.m. Uh, the, <laughs> the reason why I don't have it is be, uh, I don't have it on the wall, and it's I took out the battery because whenever we record or live stream, you could actually hear the t -t 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 -t. It was loud for some reason. Um, so I, I have a place for it on the wall. Like, I really want to keep it on the wall, but then... You know, I, I would always have to take it off whenever we go live or we record or I record something. But I, <clears throat> I love the clock again. Thanks to the team out there. We got some shirts. I don't have my shirt. It was it's in the wash. I have I have I have a couple of Catan shirts. They're all I, I wore them a bunch this weekend and last weekend. They just they're in the wash. So, um, but yeah, check out the Catan shop. They got some really cool stuff there. Um, and Plumpy Thimble. I yeah. So this is a roll and write version. This is a really old game actually. I don't know. You know, I want to look it up. Uh, now I'm curious, now that uh, you brought it up. I want to see when this was released. It's been released in, like, a couple of different versions. Um, there's Catan Dice. There's, Cat like, Delu Catan Dice the game, though, Deluxe. This was released back in 2007. Or, I mean, that's was that 14 years ago? Which is, in board game terms these days, that, that's ancient, right? But um, I like it. I, I think the, the basic game is fun as a solo game. What's really cool is, though, they have... So there's, let me show this real quick here. Actually, we'll talk about it in a second, but Island 1 is one side of the sheet, which is the basic roll and write game. You can play solo, which I'm going to do. But I'm also going to show you Island 2, which is a multiplayer version where it's a lot more like Catan, where you're, you know, it's a race to 10 points. Uh, whereas the Island 1, you have 15 turns to score as much as you can. Uh, but we'll talk about that a little more. I want to know what else y'all been playing and what are y'all eating, right? By the way, Michelle's not here with me tonight. She's out and about doing her thing, uh, so I'm rolling solo. But that doesn't mean we can't talk about stream snacks, what you're eating. Um, for dinner, I had some leftover pork tenderloin, tenderloin that Michelle made the other night. It was really, it was good. We made sandwiches from it. It was just, oh, delicious. Um, I had never DM before, and it was a cool way to try it out. Oh, awesome, Brain in a Jar. Yeah, it's, um, I haven't, I, I have not DM'd since I was a kid. Like, so... It's uh, I have so much respect for DMs. I mean, they're they're the narrators, right, of the story, and um, to juggle everything that they do, um, just mad love, mad respect for uh, DMs. Um, catching up on chat here. Empire is racing against the clock. Thank you for confirming. Yeah, um, yeah. It's like I, I know the rebels can stall out and just you know keep hiding or whatever. And my friend, he was just oh, Patrick. He was awesome. He, like he found when he was the Empire, he found my base right away, and I was just it was just you know 
trying to run away, but he, he just had me pegged the entire game. Ah, that water in the Catan bottle. Tastes 100% better. And no, I'm not just being a shill. <laughs> uh, which are his pain. Yeah, he, he paints all his minis. It's the first time I played Blood Rage. When I first got into the hobby, year, a few uh, like five years ago, um, I went to a game night. Patrick happened to be there. And he said, hey, you want to play Blood Rage? And I'd heard about it. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. But when he busts out those minis, I was like, board gaming is the greatest hobby ever. Like I took pictures. I was like, dude... I want to, you know, I want to play, and we played the game. I got crushed, but it was so much fun. Um, still love Blood Rage to this day. I think I, yeah, I just put it back on the shelf down there. Um, yeah, you can see my my copy of Red Rising, which I haven't opened yet. Um, there's a bunch of games here, y'all. I'm going to show you one of them that I have not played. I've been dying to play this. Anyone play this with Royal Rumble? <laughs> WWE Legends. I have been dying to play this game, and I, it's just... It's not a theme that Michelle or Lauren are really into. They're not really in the pro wrestling thing. But I know my buddy Daryl, uh, Daryl B. Gaiman, Daryl Begaman, uh, if he's out there, Daryl, it's got our name on it, buddy. We can play. I heard it plays a lot better at the higher player counts because um, it's a Royal Rumble. Um, but it can be played by two. Um, there are 30 legends of the game here. Uh, yeah, two to ten players. I mean, they've got Andre. They've got the Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man Savage. They have um, Mankind. I mean, all the, all the wrestlers, folks. They're, they're, it's classic. I cannot wait to play this. Hopefully, Daryl's down to play it. Um, but that that's one of the things uh, coming up uh, real soon. Um, Plumpy Them looks a little like Castle of Burgundy Dice Game. Yeah, it's got... Um, let me think. Castle of Burgundy Dice Game. No, the, the Castle of Burgundy is a little uh, a little different. Well, actually... I mean, they're, they're different games, of course. Uh, but I'm trying to think of... Was Castles and Burgundy, do you also have like a... Yeah, you do have a limited time as far as what... As as far as I think there's a timer where if like you roll certain dice. If it's like um, the little timer thing, that, that's the end of your uh, round or whatever. Um, want that water? Yeah, again, Catan Shop, friends. It's... We also... I also have this one. It's... Um, it holds... It's insulated. It holds the hot and cold drinks. That one, my tea seriously lasts like all day. I can brew a cup cup of hot tea in the morning and by the afternoon it's still i mean not piping hot but it's still really warm um i i do that usually in the morning um I, I, i've been dying to do a morning stream lately i just haven't had the the uh, time to do it so maybe i'll do a morning stream tomorrow i really want to do it because i have some books um so if y'all don't know sometimes on tuesdays i'll do tattooing tuesdays where i read a uh, part of uh, thrawn the first thrawn book in the star wars um um universe and actually I have it right here so we are let me see we are in we just finished chapter nine it, it was probably a few weeks ago actually over probably months ago um, but I would like to get back into it um, it's always fun just to read and I, I like hanging out with uh, Chad and we'll just talk about Star Wars and stuff but I do I just got some new uh, books from my friends over at uh, Penguin Kids. I got some kids stuff. And they, you know, they um, sent some stuff over here. I'd love to share these with you sometime in the, um, in the near future. But I don't know if anyone's familiar with Melly Bean and the Wicked Wizard. It's about a dog. I'm like, of course, send it over. I will be glad to read it. And Melly Bean uh, and the Giant Monster. It's a like doggo and his friends. And also, so those are from Mike White. Uh, there's another um, graphic novel from Phil Corbett or Phil Corbet uh, called Kitty Quest, and this is like cats and I believe doggos, uh, mainly cat. This one's cat focused, but they're like it's a fantasy theme, so they're they're battling, they're going on adventures, like taking care, of, you know, taking care of dragons and all kinds of stuff. I, I can't wait to share these with y'all, and then I think I'm gonna do another like just a reading stream, and that'll be uh, usually do those in the morning. Um, and I do the game in at night, so I'll let y'all know. Just uh, if you don't already, please join our Discord. Uh, we have a lot of fun over there. We uh, talk games, food, of course, and uh, our our fur babies. Uh, Plumpy Thimble says we played Enchanted Plumes last night. Steak and salad for dinner. Oh, okay, steak and salad. You got me right there. I love Enchanted Plumes. I I, I love the thing that you did. The bit you did, uh, Plumpy Thimble. That was that was great. Um, Johnny Jeffhog, yes, that is a Catan clock. And you know, it's funny. It's like. 
I'm totally age, uh, dating myself here, but if y'all remember this guy, Flavor Flav, you know, this would be chain for, um, on a chain hanging from his neck. I did meet Flavor Flav before. Did I ever tell you that? Uh, I saw him at the South Point uh, Hotel and Casino at, in Vegas years ago. Michelle and I were there. Um, met my family out there, met a couple of friends, and um, we just finished dinner. Michelle just and I just came back from our favorite steakhouse, um, Del Frisco's in Vegas, and we were staying at that hotel with friends, and we walked in, Michelle's, isn't that Flavor Flav? I was like, you know, I was like, yo, Flav, and he's like, what's up? And, you know, I was like, can I get a picture? He's like, yeah, of course. So he came over there, and I asked him, hey, how you, how's it going, man? How's it, how you doing? And I'll never forget what he said. He said, yo, just like a hang, or just, oh wait, I, I, now I'm going to blow the line. It was, um, I, he said, I'm just like a, a, a coat in a closet, just hanging in there, baby. And I was like, total flavor flav moment. It was great. Uh, <laughs> uh, you should get your a friend Dakota play. Yeah, absolutely. John Sir Bearsworth would play with all. Yeah, uh, Panda, we need to finish up our, um, yeah, Dakota would be great for the, uh, I'm, I'm, I just I'm realizing what we're talking about now the uh, wrestling game yeah and Penn I was just thinking about how you John and Sir Bearsworth and I we need to finish our um, uh, Lucha Libre um, RPG where is that comment John and, uh, started watching WWF when the Rock and Triple Eight were the hits yeah so I watched it you know many years before that but then I got back into it with a buddy of mine um, during the Attitude Era when it was still WWF but it was like yeah the Rock Triple H, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, all those guys, and it was crazy. It was, we, <laughs> I don't know if I should admit this or not, but we we would have like parties and get together. My buddies and I would have, you know, we would actually get the pay per views and watch. And remember my my good friend, my my very good friend Ryan Green, rest in peace. I, I, I love you, brother. Um, he always uh, he always cracked me up because he remembers a time when there was a time there was like a, the typical like wrestling um, storyline where The Rock or yeah The Rock and, or Vince McMahon what like totally like double cross somebody and you know we may have had a few adult beverages and uh, you know I stood up I was like you stupid traitor McMahon it might have been a little more colorful than that and my my friend good friend Ryan Green rest in peace uh, he he's he, he said Gaviola I will never let you forget this. So anytime we would see each other, I mean, you know, we didn't live in the same town anymore, but anytime we'd get together, he's like, Gabiola, you're a traitor. You know, just like how I said it about McMahon. Um, anyways, um, I could talk wrestling all night. I probably shouldn't. Uh, before they were sued and changed their name to WWE. Yep. Uh, hey, why that play? Thanks for joining us. Hope things are going well. I know this is your time to, I believe, go to work. Um, but uh, thanks for always for stopping by. Um, Derby Gaming is in the house, and James has also redeemed a Bruno walk. Thanks for walking our pug, James. There it is. Oh, there's my face. Uh, Bruno, you know, Michelle's not here, um, so Bruno is just in the other room, like chilling, and I don't think he's gonna make a trick, uh, stop by here. Speaking of tricks, there's a uh, Bruno trick. Thank you, Daryl. Appreciate a friend. You know, we're gonna give you a free one. There's a free Bruno treat for y'all. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, there's the Discord. Wow, I'm really behind on chat. Mike White, the writer. Oh, you know what? I don't know. Is he? I know who you're talking about, Floppy Thimble. I, I don't know if it's the same Mike White. Uh, it is not. No. This does. Uh, this Mike White was born and raised in Toronto. Worked in television animation for years. Um, yeah, nothing about School of Rock or anything like that. But hey, good good, good eye there. Uh, let's see. I totally grew up with Flavor Flav. If you don't put a chain on that clock and cosplay Rap Gods. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I got Rap Gods right there. That is a great idea. We played Rap Gods a couple of times on stream because we love that game. Man, maybe I should put on a chain. That's Y'all got me thinking. Let's see. Collect the camels in the house. Hi, David. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well. Got Amanda Panda. Okay. So, uh, James, yes, James had mentioned this, I, I believe, in Discord or whatever. Great weekend, baseball, board games, and TLN. That's, that is a great weekend. Um, the way we were talking about minor league baseball, how much... Oh, by the way, my stream sack tonight, I've got a chewy uh, peanut butter chocolate chip granola bar. Um, I am hungry right now. Um, I had my dinner, but I, I realized right before I went on stream, it's not enough. I, I didn't eat enough, so 
gonna grab a little uh, bar here. The Love Meeples, thanks for joining us. Ah, I love that name, The Love Meeples. We're gonna give you a little heart. We'll give you the medium heart. We gave you the little hearts right there. Thanks for hanging out. Um, we are playing uh, Catan, the dice game. Um, let me put this stuff over here. I just made a mess on this table. We've got graphic novels over the place. I'll let y'all know. I'm, I'm going to try to do that reading stream probably this week. No, what's today? Today's Tuesday. Again, with the, the three-day weekend, always throws me off. Um, yeah, see, I usually do my readings on Tuesdays, but maybe I'll do this this coming Thursday. Um, just read for like an hour and hang out. So for me, it's a nice way to, you know, have a cup of tea, hang out with y'all, and, um, you know, re do a little reading. I, I love books. I, I don't read as much as I used to, which... Sort of makes me sad. I, I thought I'd read more during the pandemic, but, you know, this, you know, thankfully I was able to play board games with family and fr uh, my family and stuff, so. Also, never be ashamed to talk about the golden era of WWE and WWF. Be ashamed of modern day. Thank you, love people. I don't watch any of the modern day stuff. I know my nephew does. Um, I don't think he's as hardcore into it as uh, me and his father and uncle, other uncle were back when we were his age, but, um, yeah, I don't really know any... You know, I pretty much stopped watching after the uh, Attitude Era. So, definitely not a shame. I'm, I think I'm more of a shame that just, like, how far into it we got. Like, all, all my buddies. I and mean, it was just funny. So, you know, we'd, we'd watch, like, Laker games and Dodger games and everything else. And, you know, that's, you know, and then to get into sports entertainment, it was, it was funny. But no shame. You know, no shame at all. Do your thing. Um, it was just funny to me. Mm. Great entertainment. That's what it was. Prop Tart says, I'm trying to get more books read, too. Yeah. Anyone read anything good? Um, speaking of Red Rising, I've had that book on my nightstand for, honestly, like five years. And I got the game. I was like, I want to read the book first. I, this game's going to stay here forever if I don't um, open up. Them. I mean, I open it up. But if I wait till I read that book, I'm probably never going to play the game. So I want to play. Have y'all played Red Rising? Let me know what you think. I've heard it plays better at, multi, at the higher player counts because there's a lot of carves cards and you don't get through them all in a two-player game so i'm looking forward to that mm. let me get this game going man i was like too big you ever take a too big of a bite of something that that was like way too big of a bite. i should take a smaller bite let's get this game going here hey oh my little green screen thing's all messed up wow why is that like that Move this Thrawn book out of the way. We've got Island 1. There are two different islands in the Roll and Write game. They're just on the other side there. Very similar, but um, different mechanisms um, as far as uh, gameplay goes. I will talk about those in just a second. James says, I was not a fan of Fantasy Realms for which it was inspired by... Oh, that's right. Yeah, Jamie talked about Fantasy Realms, which was just, I think, nominated for like a, a Spiel de Jar, right, this year. I haven't played that one, so I'm curious to see how it goes. So besides my lovely Catan uh, water, I also have LaCroix. It's, it's been getting warm out here, friends. Um, I hope you're staying hydrated because it is warm. I've got my lemon LaCroix, and I've got my water-flavored water, as Michelle would say. <laughs> um, let's look at the game, shall we? The overview here. So this is um, the score sheet right here. Just a little breakdown. If you know Catan, you know very. It, it looks very similar, right? Um, you have your brick. You have your other resources: brick, lumber, wool, grain, ore. Now gold is actually not on this map. Gold is like it's a wild, which we'll talk about in just a second. So building, we have we have our starting road, right here. Um, a little closer view, right there to the upper left. And. Um, you're going to roll the, the dice for resources. So you roll a, if, if you want to build a road, you cost a one lumber and one brick. You can, if you roll those, you can build it. Uh, gameplay. So starting player begins the game. During your turn, roll the dice up to three times. So very much like Yahtzee, you're going to get these dice, roll them up to three di uh, three times. Uh, you can like set dice aside and you can, you know, 
re-roll the others, and then if you decide later on, you can re-roll that one and like put a couple others on the side. But after up to three rolls, you got to stop and start marking stuff. Hey, Hornus has cheered 50 bits. Y'all know what that means. Thank you, Hornus, uh, for the bit cheers. You spend bits, and Benny the Bits Bear comes out of hibernation. Thank you, Hornus, for spending 50 bits. Friends, welcome to Catan Dice Game, sponsored by Catan. I am Benny the Bits Bear. I'm going back to hibernation. Bye. <laughs> oh, Benny got me so riled up, I pressed the wrong button. But anyways, thanks, uh, Hornus, and thank you, Fluffy Thimble. Uh, much appreciated. B -b -b Benny and the Bits. Bits. Back to the game. Um, so, Prop Tart loves Benny. We all love Benny, Prop Tart. Thank you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> remember when, uh, Michelle, when I first got Benny last year, it was just totally some random, I don't know what, how I came up with it, but I was like, I want to, you know, we do analog alerts, so I want to do something different for the bits. And I don't know why the puppet thing came to mind. I don't remember what inspired that moment of madness but I then I, I started looking for one on Amazon I'm like oh let me find a bear puppet and I found one for a relatively a, a, a decent price had it shipped over and Michelle had no idea and when I took it out of the box I remember her looks like what are you doing <laughs> shout out to my wife for being very understanding of her husband's uh, silliness uh, we all love Benny um, let's <laughs> let's get back to it here's the gameplay um, <clears throat> Michelle who melted with it. laughter it was great. Yeah, uh, rolling the dice uh, on your turn up to three times as we're saying, and then you build. Um, just like in regular Catan, you have <clears throat> certain prices you have to build for like a road, a settlement, a city, and so forth. Um, you build a road, knight, settlement, or city. So the knight is a uh, uh, is an interesting one here. And we'll uh, tell you in just a second. Um, the knight. On the score sheet, you'll see there's different numbers there. The little um, they look like little people. Those are the knights, and what those do <coughs> give you. You have to do them in numerical order. That's how you're going to build them. You just as you build them, you you circle it. It's going to give you a free resource, and when you use it, you just cross it out. Okay, uh, you can build multiple times during your turn as long as you have the resources, and then anything you've built, you are going to score points on that scoring track. There are 15 spaces in the scoring track, and that is the game. It can go really quickly. You know, once uh, as a learning game, it, it, take, it may take a little while, but uh, yeah, you're 15 turns. You just try to get as a score as high as you can. Um, let me see. Where is building rules? There they are. So, what can be built and where? So, the road you start it has to be adjacent to a um, another road that you'd already built. It costs one brick and one lumber. It's worth one point. That's where you're going to score. Uh, the settlement uh, costs one lumber, brick, grain, and wool. You can only build a settlement adjacent to a road that you've already built. Again, sound familiar, friends? Uh, furthermore, you must build settlements in ascending order according to their point value. First your three-point settlement, then your four-point, and so forth. Uh, let me show that. Again, it's like, it's actually here, it's uh, counterclockwise. Uh, so you have the three-point, four-point, uh, five point and so forth. You'll you can and I'll show it on on here as we we play the game. Um, settlement we just talked about. The city costs three ore and two grain. A little more, a little more higher stakes there, right? Uh, the procedure is the same as building the settlement. You can only build a city adjacent to a road you already built. You must build cities in ascending order as well. So for example, you must build your seven point city before you build your twelve point city. And finally, the knight. The knight costs a grain, wool, and ore. You must also build your knights in ascending order according to their point value. Each knight you build has a resource depicted below it. You may use each resource once per game. So it's a free resource that you're going to get. Okay. Uh, there are the knights. Again, they go in counterclockwise order. Starting with one, two, three, and so forth. Okay. Um, what are we looking at now? The resource joke. For each knight you build, you may use once during the game. This is just a way to uh, explain a little further. After you roll the dice, turn one of the dice so that the resource corresponding to the resource joker is face up. Then mark the symbol of the resource joker on your game map. Okay, you just cross it out. Um, after you built your last knight, the one marked with six, you may use any resource of your choice. So it's a wild right there when you get to the six, six knights. So that, you really want to build up the knights in this game. Now, remember how I said uh, gold isn't actually part of the resources. They are on the dice. The gold are on the dice. Okay. But... 
you'll notice here, if you have two gold results, results after you finish rolling dice, you may use those two gold to substitute or trade for another resource of your choice. So it is sort of like a wild, but it takes you two dice. You can trade two gold for one, or um, same thing as a knight, you just turn over one of the dice and uh, set it aside so you can um, use that as a resource. The game ends after each player has finished 15 turns. In this case, it's just me. I'm going to see how high I can score. Uh, at this point, if you filled in all 15 boxes of your score track, add up your points, subtracting two points for each X in your scoring track. How do you get an X? Glad you asked, Well, When you go to build something, but you cannot, for whatever reason, you didn't have enough resources or whatever, you put an X in a box, minus two at the end of the game. Mike Garb's in the house. Hi, Mark. Thanks for joining us. Yahtzee Catan. Love this game. Yeah, that's, you know, that's a fun way to describe it. Yahtzee Catan. Very, very fun. Uh, Roland, right? Again, thanks to our friends at Catan. I'm going to get started real uh, soon here, friends. Keep hanging out in chat. We, I love seeing y'all hang out. I appreciate you spending your part of your Tuesday evening with me. And um, I will get going after I take another sip from uh, my water bottle. I'll put the coaster over here on the planet. Look at that. Well, look at that branding, folks. Um, I always thought it was pronounced K Tame. Thank you, Bottom Shelf Video Games. <laughs> we like to, um, we are, um, I was going to say, we enjoy and appreciate all pronunciations of K Tame, Katan, Katan. Um, as long as it's, uh, I mean, it's a fun game. So <laughs> let's start rolling, shall we? Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. So, um, I always want to call it sheep, but I, I don't want to, I want to call it proper name. So we got gold, we have wool, we have um, ore, um, we have, uh, let's see, that's ore, that's gold, lumber, and wheat. Hey, a little bit of everything. So, as you can see here, I have, uh, where's my green screen? Oh man, the green screen is the shading. Okay, there it is. Ah, a little see-through there. But here's my score sheet. Um, again, it, ha it does have the um, prices for everything. A road. So I really think we should start building up those roads. I can build a road. Or let me set up. I'll set aside dice first. Okay. Set aside the dice. So let's see. We've got a lumber. Oh, no, brick. Sorry, my bad. Brick and... Where's the lumber? Oh, I, I thought I rolled a lumber. I did not roll a lumber. But I do have a gold, um, which I'm going to hold on to just in case I roll another gold. And so I'm going to go this way. you got to follow the a little path here. So I can do a settlement. A settlement is going to cost me... I pretty much have everything. Hey, you know what? I'm going to build that settlement. Wheat, wool, wheat, wool, lumber or I mean brick oh I need a lumber that's what I was waiting for okay so let's roll these two okay got another wheat hmm oh I can do that night okay so I've got ore what is this ore yeah no this is gold uh, all right, it's one turn in, and I'm like totally like <laughs> AP and out, folks. This is crazy. Okay, tell you what, just because it's it's the first round, let, let's go for broke here. I'm gonna hold on to that cold. We're just gonna re-roll everything and see what happens. How about that? All right. Hey, so we got a couple of gold, so we're gonna be able to get a resource we want: uh, lumber, wheat, wool. Okay. Hmm, do I build a knight? So the knight, when I fill in this one, I'm going to get a an ore at uh, any point of the game. So I need to spend, let's see, oh, I would take one of these wilds then. Okay. Or do I build a road? I, I can build a road. Again, you can build as much as you want, friends. Um, this and this. The settlement. I really want to build a settlement. Um... Oh, let me catch up here. Panda, I was enjoying the villainous party on your channel. My wife and I love... Oh, yeah, that was great. Well, and um, Panda um, and friends. It was, was it John and uh, Phil and Raina? That was great, Amanda. Y'all played uh, villainous. John was frozen stiff by a six... <laughs> That's right, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> uh, the mouse out with the cat. 
all right, so what I'm going to do is um, let's build that settlement. Uh, so I've got the wood or lumber, the wool, the wheat, and then I'm going to turn one of these so one of the golds goes away, and I turn that into a brick. And this gold, unfortunately, goes wasted, um, but I have built have enough to build my first settlement. So I just circle it here, okay? And that is three points. Okay, round one over, friends. That's it. This is Catan Dice Game. We'll go to the next turn. Ooh, the, I, I love those golds. That always helps. I could go... Oh, that's all gold. Okay. Um, right off the bat... Now, that's almost like too much gold. Like, I, I want to... Like, let's see. I can do... Let's see. I have lumber. So I need a brick. I can turn one of these in a brick and re-roll all of those. You know, well, let, let's do that. So, actually, maybe if I can roll this brick. Second roll. Okay. Now, there's the brick. Oh, my gosh. More golds. So, I'm definitely going to build the road here. That's going to score me one point. But, if I re... I can try to get that knight, which will get me an ore. Right. Okay. So, I need this road. I'm going to roll... Tell you what, I'm going to save this. I'm going to turn this into one of these resources. So I'm going to try to build two roads at once. So let's see what happens here. Wait, no, that, that's not going to work. So I have, uh, I either, okay. Tell you what, I had those two gold. I mean, yeah, two gold. Wrong one. Gold. Gold. Right here I can do another road. Uh, this becomes a wood and that becomes a brick. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to build two roads. So here's one. Okay. And then this becomes that, a lumber, and this becomes a brick. So that's my second road. Ooh, do I go this way to try to get that other settlement? Or I go this way, or no, that's a city, ooh. Tell you what, I'm gonna go this way. We'll get closer to the settlement, we'll just, we'll keep going this way. So you do have a choice, you can go here for a city, go here for a settlement. I'm gonna go this way. So I built two roads, that's two points. All right. Uh, bottom shelf, need to get one of those cool brown game playing rights. Yeah, this is custom made uh, from some, uh, I'm gonna let you, let you in on a secret, uh, my friend. Uh, you can build one from uh, an old uh, Amazon box or a shipping package. <laughs> uh. Okay. Hey, I'm building. I'm building up these roads, folks. So I can build this road here, and then we got another settlement as well. Or I want to start building those. Um, I, I really want to get those knights happening, just in case. Shoot, I can build a couple of roads. What's up? Whoa! All right then. What do I need for that? Um, oh, for this I need. Oh, okay. That's the cities cost a ton of stuff. Okay. Uh, artisanal cardboard. Artisanal cardboard. That is correct. <laughs> uh, too expensive for a gaming budget. Okay. I'll tell you what. So I want to go for. I'm gonna get the hold on to this wheat. And let's see if I roll these three. What happens? Second roll. Okay. Another wheat. Another lumber and a gold uh, which do me no good all right roll one more time oh man just missed it darn it a couple of wool two wheats oh my gosh darn it that was a bad uh, that was not good okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go this way for another road i got one point for a road for this one here. These, unfortunately, not going to be able to use them. Some metal towers in the house. Hi, Matt. Thanks for joining us. Matt, I got to tell you, and I talked to, about this with the uh, Brothers Murph uh, the other day. Your intros and your stream, my friend, are just chef's kiss. I mean, amazing. You were talking about Jesse's as well. He did such a great job with the um, after party. But your stream, my friend, always just top notch. And uh, shout out to you, friend, for all the... Your technical wizardry. I, I'm 
I'm such a big fan, and I'm so happy you're part of TLM. And thanks for stopping me in. Uh, they're fun. I think it might be a thing now for me. Is your coaster in the shape? Yeah. Hey, uh, thanks for noticing that, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> these are toast uh, coasters. These are from Lauren. Lauren gave these to us many, many years ago. We used to have like a set of like I don't know, like you know, ten or twelve, or they, they just slowly over the years they just sort of disappear or whatever. But yeah, they are cardboard uh, like cork toast. <laughs> Toast coaster toasters, yes. <laughs> Just an old piece of toast. There it is. So, Metal Tavern, thanks for spending uh, the bits. Much appreciated. Um, you know that that means you spend bits. Benny the Bits Bear comes out of hibernation. Hello, Matt. Thank you, Silver Metal Tavern. Your streams are the best. You have all the technical wizardry. Ruel has a puppet. Thank you, friend, for joining us. Let's get back to the game, shall we? Ha ha! <laughs> Uh, at least I entertained myself. I hope y'all are entertained as well. So I only scored one point there. Let's shake up these dice. Go on the next turn here. Um, so what should I do? I really want to get... Let me see if I can get one of these. i got to get these knights going. So the knights are a wool, a wheat, and um, an ore. So we can do two gold for that. Um... And this, we, what can we build with this? Oh, we got this. So we got two rolls to get a um, brick. Okay, there it is. Got a one. Okay. So I'm going to do a road first. So again, I've connected this road. I can go this road here. Uh, and then for this one, I'm turning this into an ore. So ore, wheat, and a wool right here for the night. So I've circled this. I now have access to this one. Uh, this ore I can use on a future turn, which I'll probably use to build a, that city there. Um, but for now, I have that in my pocket. Uh, oh, so I built uh, one road, so one point. And I built a knight. I forget, do the knight, do I get points for the knights as well? I think I do. Or is it just, I think that's just the order of the knights. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, research Joker. Uh, I built your last. I believe we, I get the points for it, don't I? It's got to be points. Um, anyone know who, who's played this? Do y'all know if I get points on there? For the night. Building cost resources. Um, where's the scoring? Scoring. Um, do you have two? I'm going to give myself a point. Okay. So I'll, I'll put it here, plus one, because that was the night. So I'll just put a little note there. Uh, yeah, Silver Metal Tavern and I had a photo finish for the scavenger hunt. By the way, if y'all don't know, there is a, a controversy in the um, scavenger hunt. Matt and I, we both, um, I, I believe Matt was the one that brought it up, but he had noted that, you know, you weren't supposed to use a game that you'd originally used, or previously used during the scavenger hunt. And I'd used Twilight Imperium earlier in the game, and then later for the uh, the rule book where you had to bust out a rule book that's bigger than like longer than twenty four pages I think, and Matt and I both uh, did it and I uh, I had Twilight Imperium so we are my team ended up winning now to say now let's just to be fair, Dfoob also had a rule book at the same time, so I say that Dfoob since they're on my our team, they got it because they had the side rule book which is or whatever it was longer than twenty four pages, it's a controversy folks um, so. We're going to have to run it back. That's that's all good. We need a rematch. Uh, I want to thank GB Glazer for subscribing. Thank you, GB Glazer. Again, one of our biggest supporters. Um, that's an alert. We have a renewed subscription. Thank you, GB Glazer, for your support. As always, friend. Appreciate it. Uh, you can use the same game as a previous round. You just couldn't use the same game in the same. Oh, okay, cool. Then we did win. Fair and square. Yay. Uh, after hearing about your scandal, I rescind my... Okay, sorry, bottom shelf. <laughs> All right, so I give myself a point, and then we are get the night point, just in case. Um, I wouldn't mind doing this one either. So we got this, this. Hey, all right. So we're going to get my second night there, and let's see what we have here. We have gold, gold, and an ore, which we can't build anything with. Um, what's the settlement? Settlement is going to be those things 
Uh, let me re-roll this. Let's see what happens. Uh, we got a brick, uh, a gold, and a gold. I can do another road. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So again, you really, I, I really want to get these roads built out so we can start building um, the bigger and uh, more valuable stuff. So first things first, ore, wool, wheat for the second night here. So I'm assuming that would be two points there. Uh, now I have a wheat that I can use once per game. Then we have a brick and then two gold, which we're going to convert into a lumber. Uh, that'll get us another road here. So one and then one for the road and then we'll put a plus two for the night. Right. Next round. All right. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going for that city. Got to go for the city. I've got two wheats, and I need three ores. I have a free ore here, so I need two ores. Here's one of them, and I've got all. I've got three dice, two turns to get another ore. Okay, there's a gold. Do I save the gold? Because if I get a second gold, that I can use that as anything, or do I just roll all three dice hoping to get another ore? What do y'all think? I'm gonna wait for chat. Y'all help me out. Help me do... Uh, I, I'm, all, I'm, I'm of the um, Han Solo school. Never tell me the odds. But y'all, if you got the, if you can figure out the odds and what I should do, let me know in chat. I'm going to stay hydrated. By the way, if it's uh, a little noisy tonight besides my loud voice, it's because I have the window open. I've got the fan going. It's The rest of the house is cool. But this room, because of all the lights and stuff in the studio, it gets warm. So... Um, pardon the uh, extra noise. It was hot today. Yeah, so Mel. 50-50, either you win or you don't. Oh, great. Okay, well, let's see. We're going to roll... I'm going to roll all of them. Come on. Or, or, or. Yes. Or. Okay. Oh, actually... Oh, no, that's gold. Okay. So I've got this, two wheats, two ores. I'm going to scratch out this third one, and I'm going to build this city. I built this city uh, for... For seven points. Pardon my um, singing there, friends. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so I got seven there. So that's that's a nice one to have. Um, so I can build the next settlement here. I have a wheat. So the settlement, if I can get those three symbols, I can build that. Um, I have a road here up to f number f the five settlement, but I cannot do that. I have to build these in order. Okay? I really want to get some of these knights going too. That, that helps. Like that ore really helped with that city there. Where's that chewy rub, <laughs> Matt? I just put that thing in the wash. It was just, I, I sweated for like, I again, Michelle, you know, she, we were wondering how long I would have it, and she bet on the under. She said, yeah, no longer than five minutes. I was like, yeah, you're probably right. Within three, two, three minutes, I was like, take this thing off. I don't know how you did it, Matt. It was so hot. My chewy Snuggie is now in the wash. Um, probably after we wash it, it's going to be put away into storage until the winter time. Okay. Hey, games covered. Thank you for joining us. I have a t-shirt that says that a city built on rock and roll would be structurally unsound. <laughs> oh, I love it. Nice. Let's see. Brick, lumber, lumber, or two more dice here. Brick and oh, tons of bricks. Okay. Um, so we can, I mean, we can build a couple of roads and get those ready. I really want to get another knight, so let's hold on to this. Um, I have this here. Okay. Okay, there's the wheat, or the... There is the wool that I needed. Now, just in case... Oh, let me see what else I rolled. Okay. Just in case I don't roll the wheat, I can go to my knight here. Um, so that wheat how to get my next night. So I'm gonna roll these two and I'm also gonna build a road to this city just in case Okay, what did I get I did not get it. Okay, so um, So my time is currently the number two chair for the <laughs> week. Hey, that's cool How did where did that come from Matt? I don't know where all this is uh, this this twitch stuff <laughs> Matt is winning. Well, Matt is the winner. Second place. The Silver Meadow. That's great. Just saw an icon. That's awesome. Okay. What I'm going to do is... Uh, first, I'm going to build this road here. 
um, I want this road to go here, so that's one point. And then I'm going to use this wool, this ore, and then cross off this wheat to take this knight here. So again, that's one point for the road, and then a parentheses plus three, because I'm not sure about the rule if I score the knights or not. Okay, and then these resources just go to waste. Next turn. Okay, now I sort of want to go for that city. So I need, oh, okay, this is a, sh a wool. Okay, there's that. Wilds, oh. Oh man. Well, I could do a, a development instead of a city. The, the next development I could do is four, a four pointer. So I need this. I can use this sheep, and then I can use the wilds. But let me let me roll. Let me see. So bricks. Okay. Let me roll some more of these. See if we can get that um, development built. Okay. Oh, you know what? Okay. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna change my mind now. We've got. Um, Three ores, and we've got a raid coming in. Um, Y'all know what that means. Vorpal board is in the house. Thank you, Vorpal, for the raid. Y'all get the raid hat. Welcome, raiders. Much appreciated. Thank you for joining us. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is Tabletop Tonight. We do analog alerts here, so I've got to do this by hand, and I'm old school. Some say I'm just old, but uh, thank you, Vorpal, for the raid. I appreciate it. Let me know in chat what y'all just did. Um, if you don't know, friends, Vorpal board. They have this amazing product where you can play uh, analog games digitally. Like they have a scanner that you can scan all the pieces, cards, bits, everything, and it shows up. It's like, it's amazing. I was able to demo it last year um, with their team. Absolutely love it. Um, Vorpal was playing some Agropolis with the team. Awesome. Uh, let me shout, shout y'all out there. Shout out to Vorpal. Please follow if you don't already, friends. Um, there they are right there. Doop. And I want to say hello to Gold Llama for your mama. <laughs> Great username, Gold Llama for your mama. Appreciate it. Uh, holistic developer. Katan Dice, always wondering if this was worth it. Yeah, this is like a really light, um, quick, and easy roll and write version of the classic Katan. So if you don't have enough players or if you just want to do a quick game of Katan, you can do it in like 15, 20 minutes. Um, I'm playing a solo game tonight. I, I'm going to also show off uh, the multiplayer game. Um, Y'all will help me out with that. But uh, thank you, thanks again for the raid, uh, Vorpal. We're going to get back to the game. I'm going to take off the raiding hat just for y'all. Um, let's see. What did I do? Oh, this, this is my final roll. Or wait, did I have another roll? I don't remember. So I had these three. I think I had one more roll, didn't I? So I was going to try for the development. So I got brick, this, oh, I need, okay, I think I had, did I have one more roll? Anyone remember? I did, let me see, I did this, I put it away, and I was going to try to, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I had one more roll after this. Oh, do I go for that city? I got to go for that city. So I've got three ores. I can re-roll these two, try to get that final wheat. Oh my gosh. Or do I play it safe? Oh wait, no, you know what I'm gonna do? Even better, Th this will help me out. I'm gonna get an ore, a, a wool, and a wheat to get that knight, okay? So the knight is gonna get me that free resource. I've got a brick, I'm gonna re final reroll. You get three rerolls, or three rolls per turn, like Yahtzee. And okay, I didn't get what I needed, but I did score the knight. So I score that here. Never play it. Say, oh, Odyssey Games in the house. Hi, Odyssey. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, never. You know, I was just saying earlier, I was asking chat, yo, what are my odds for this thing to happen? And I realized I'm from the Han Solo school of uh, game playing. Never tell me the odds. I'm just going to chuck those dice. Um, what I'm going to do is circle this. So now I have a, a wool and a lumber that I can use uh, in a future turn. And... I still need to check the rule. I think I score four points for this knight. If not, I score uh, I score negative two since I didn't build anything. Um, I cannot use these. I have a brick but no wood. Or actually, no. I take that back. I can score it. Oh, do I score it now? So I have a brick. I can uh, the lumber that I got this turn. You can use it immediately. 
So if I did the brick and the lumber, I can score, I can build a, another road, which I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. So I cross that out. I've used that. I'm going to build... Oh, wait, I already built that road there. Okay, I'm not going to use it. I thought I hadn't... So I built this road here to get to that city, which I want to do. Okay, so that's the end of that turn. We're halfway through the game. Continue. Gold Llama for your mama. I am always going to laugh at that, friend. That was a great username. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Let's try... Okay, here's ore. Oh. Yes. I need a lumber. Okay. Brick. Uh, lumber off here. Wool. And that. Oops. So this is my development right here for four points. Definitely going to keep that. Let's see. Um, I need this, this. I've got two rolls to get a wheat. That's the first one. No good. Come on, wheat. Nope. Brick. All right. So I'm going to do the development number four, four points. This, 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 and a lumber, which I'm crossing off here for this four pointer. So that's four points. Can I build anything else? Um, no. Wool, nope, that's it. All right. Hey, Bottom Shelf has redeemed a Bruno trick. Thank you, Bottom Shelf. Um, if you're here for the first time, friends, we have a pug named Bruno and he, he usually pops in, like, in real life here in the stream, but when he's not, you can redeem uh, channel points, the Bruno points, for him to do stuff like this. He's doing a trick. <laughs> Good boy, Bruno. All right. Um, yeah, show some love for Bruno. If you have those Bruno emotes, folks, drop them in chat, please. Thank you. I'm going to roll. Whoops. All right. Um, I've got a couple of gold. Now, for those of you just joining me, two gold, you can turn that into one of those. Uh, you can use both dice to make it a wild. Thanks for the Bruno emotes, friends. Always good to see Bruno popping up. And also redeemed, Brandon Jar has redeemed a trick or a treat. After Bruno does a trick, he always gets a treat. So thank you, Brandon Jar. There's your treat. He is the best boy, as Michelle would say. Um, I really, man. I can go up here. So if I build all my knights, I can get um, brick and then the wild here, which would be nice. So how do I get, let's see, I need, um, for a knight, I need this. Oh, I got all these wilds. Oh my gosh. I can build my five point. I really want that city, but I feel like I'm more set, I'm set up for the development. Brick, wool, lumber. I could do it right now. Um, I, I'd rather... Let me see. I can just do it right now, though. You get the development. Yeah, let's do it. So I take these two wilds. I turn it into the resource I need. This dice is out. This one's not going to do me any good. There it is right there. You can roll up to three times, or you can just take the roll after once. I've done this development right here for five points. Woohoo. Okay. Continue. Don't forget to stay hydrated, friends. It is hot up in here. Ooh, ooh, there it is. I've got two wheat and a wool. Oh, I really, I, I'm dying to get that other city. That's a 12 point city right there. And that's what's interesting about this. You're not going to build everything. You're just, you know, you go, you, you really do want to pay attention to the dice and see what they're giving you. Um, I like that you do have to build out to stuff. Like, there is a 30-point city out here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me uh, get on screen. There is a 30-point city all the way out here. So you can ignore all the other stuff and just build, build, build all the roads until you get here. Um, actually, no, you, you would have to, you still have to build um, these cities here. But you have to go in order. So, yeah, you got to get really... you got, you got to get lucky. I mean, luck is part of it. It's just like Yahtzee. But, okay. Oh, you know what? Let me see what happens here. Let's, let's roll these dice. If I can get a couple of ores, that'd be great. There's one ore. Oh, man. Bunch of lumber. Oh, boy. Not good. 
Um, yeah. I feel like I should get a knight. So if I can get that knight, I get a brick there, which will help me. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I should get the knights. So I get that wild resource. That'll help me build a city later. So let's see. I need this, this, and I need one wool. Come on, wool. Where are you? <laughs> I didn't build any wool. Are you kidding me? But I do have a lumber and brick that will allow me to get at least one road a little closer here. Just one point that turn. Next turn. Next round. Okay. Wheat. Um, gold. I could build a couple of uh, roads here. So one, two. Uh, that will get me to the seven point development, which is nice. How do I... Oh, okay. So I want the wheat for sure. Nah, I don't want to build roads yet. Let's let's continue. Let's see what I can get here. There's a couple of wheats. Oh, way too much wheat. Bunch of wheats and a couple of bricks. Not the best roll. I'm going to re-roll. The final roll of the round. The turn. Okay. There's the sh wool. Oh, okay. Got another knight. Right here. So we have a brick to spend. So I got a brick and a wool. And I'm gonna put a plus five here. Because that's the fifth night. Uh oh, I only got three turns left. Oh my gosh. So if I can get a night one night here and try to build that final city for a 12 pointer. Okay. So three turns. Okay, there's that. Um there's that. Another road. A couple of wilds. What can I do for a wild? I can do this one right away for the final. Okay. I'm going to take these two gold, make it into a wool. And I'm going to build. So that's my final knight. That's a wild resource now. And I'm going to build another road for a point. So one plus six. Two turns left. Let's get a city out there. All right, the city. I none of this stuff is going to help me build a city. What about the development? Development. Let's go for the development. This, this, this. All I need is a wheat. Three dice, two rolls for a wheat. Um. Yeah, that's not going to help. Okay. Oh wait. Yeah, there it is right there. Two golds. Turn one into a wheat. Boom! What up, development, son? Uh, development's right here. So boom, 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 boom. Seven points. What up? All right. Final round of the game. Here we go. Ah, yes. Okay. Boom. So three ore, two wheat. We did it. Yes. And this is just... Gone. I built my second city. Built this city. Okay, so 12 points for that city. Probably not my best game. I know I've built out to here before, but let's let's add it up. Now we just add it up. Uh, who wants to do the math? Uh, so I'm going to do it without the night bonuses. Let's see. Three, five. Oh, we've got a raid coming in before we finish up doing the maths. Hello, Raiders. Thanks for joining me. My name is Ruel Gaviola. Here's the rating hat for you. I want to thank the Brothers Murph for the raid. Y'all were playing the Isle of Cats Explore and Draw, which I love. And hey, I'm playing a really old um, Rolling Right. Y'all are playing the hot new one. I'm playing the hot old one. I'm playing Catan, the dice game. Uh, this is from 2007. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, Catan, for um, sending this over and sponsoring this tonight's episode. This is the Rolling Right of the classic uh, board game. Um, I came prepared, so not only do I have my Raid Hat, but I also have my Catan water bottle. It just it just makes water taste that much better. Uh, thanks, Nick and Mike. Hope you all had a great game. Hope you had fun with it. I, I'm pretty sure you did. Uh, that, that's such a good game. Uh, shout out to... Um, oh, uh, Bottom Shelf says, The Hot Old One is my retirement community name. <laughs> ah, here's to you, friends. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, I actually just finished... Uh, Island 1. So there are two different versions of this game. There's Island 1 and there's Island 2. Island 2 is multiplayer. Uh, Island 1 can can be multiplayer, but I like to play it solo. 
Um, I'm going to move back over here. Okay. Hey, there's Bruno. That's our pug. Take eating a treat. That was a free one for y'all. <laughs> Holistic developer. Have you played the dice version multiplayer? I have not. Um, actually, I take that back, Holistic. I have played a multiplayer, but I played this one, the island, the one we just did. Uh, Michelle and I played two players. Uh, it was fun. It was, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, but Island 2, I've not. So I do want to just, I'll go through it and show y'all um, how it plays. Stacey Everdale has redeemed a stretch. Thank you, Stacey. I'm, everyone in chat, let's all let's all stretch. I'm going to take off the Raiden helmet. Uh, big stretch, everybody. Yeah. Breathe in. Breathe out. Thank you, Stacy, for the reminder to stretch. Uh, Liz Hi Lizzle Hyatt has redeemed a hydrate. Yes, um, I just hydrated, but I'm going to hydrate again because it is hot up in here. I've got my nice cold water. I've got my nice cold but getting a little warm LaCroix uh, lemon flavor tonight. Um, I am scoring my game, so uh, each uh, turn you're just scoring points on what you've built. Uh, just like in Catan, uh, you have roads, you have settlements, you have um, cities. You can also, uh, the knights are available as well. They, they're not actually cards in this version. These are things you can build in order to get re extra resources. And I wasn't sure the rule as far as if you get points or not. So that's why I have these um, parentheses. Uh, but I'm going to score them without the parentheses and then with. So 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 15, 16, 20, 26, uh, 26, uh, 27, uh, 27, 39, 46 without the parentheses. Now with the parentheses, uh, it would be 46, 47, um, 49, 52, 56, 61, 67 if I score those knights. And actually the 46, if I don't score the knights, then I actually lose points here and here. So that would be 42 actually. So there it is. Stacey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, whenever we, again, if you're new to the channel, uh, we do analog alerts here, Stacey and friends. And Felicia the follow fish, she shows up whenever we have a new follower. Swims around, says hello, takes off, swims away, says goodbye. Then all of us, including y'all in chat, we say bye, Felicia. Thanks for the follow, Stacey Everdell. Um, let's get back to, this is what we're playing here. Um, thanks for the bye, Felicia's in chat, by the way. Stacey says, getting my YouTube and Twitch lingo mixed up. <laughs> no worries. Uh, this looks awesome, but it's late here for me. So I have to go, but I sub. So no worries, Stacey. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, I get the, I get all the names mixed up as well. But um, all you need to know is by Felicia. Oh my gosh, Lizzle has a by Felicia emote. Really? That's awesome. Thank you. That, that was great. Um, I'm going to, let's, let's look at the island two now, friends. Um, so I'm going to have two islands here. <clears throat> and what we're going to do look at the rules real quick. So Island 2 rules. Basically the same game as uh, Island 1, which we just played. Okay, But in this, <clears throat> it is a race to 10 victory points, just like the original Catan. Okay? Um, the building rules are the same, um, but the knights can be built in any order. You don't have to go numerically in order. And same with the roads. You may build on those settlement sites in any order. And also cities. So you can um, build like... Remember earlier in the game that I just played. I was trying to connect these roads to get to these higher scoring cities. Here I just need to do the roads. And instead of building the number 7 city. I could jump all the way to the number 30 city. Right off the bat. Okay. So that's the one big difference. Oh hey. Thank you for the follow again. Uh, or thank you for the follow Kanye McCavery. Appreciate it. Um, we'll, we'll do the Felicia follow fish for you too. Um, appreciate it. Uh, there's Felicia swimming around. Welcome to Kanye. Thank you, Kanye, for the follow. Felicia swims away, away. And then we all say, bye, Felicia. Thank you for the follow, friend. And let's get back to this game here. So the Island 2, um, the resource jokers, same thing as Island 1. You, you get the resources um, when you build them. And victory points. Each settlement, one victory point. Cities. Two, just like in the original game. Um, built rows and knights, no victory points. Um, so you're just going to mark it on your map or on your score sheet. And you do, they, what's cool about this, just like in the real game, you have the longest road and the largest army, which are worth two points each. And on the sheet, um, let's bring up that sheet there. Oh, that's for the, there, I'll, I'll put it on the green screen. 
So the sheet, you'll have the longest road, the largest army for two points. Um, these are ten. You, uh, for each victory point, you just scratch off the little. Sorry about the uh, see through in this here. Scratch off one of the boxes, and add the longest army and the longest road can go back and forth between players. So you mark, you put a little check mark next to the longest road if you have it. And then if someone else, if the other player takes it, and you just put an X and you no longer have those extra two points. Okay. Otherwise, the game plays the same. Um, well, we'll go through a, a couple of turns here. Um, I'm going to be this side. Y'all, if you want to play along, let's, let's do that side. Here it is. I'm going to start with brick, lumber, um, wheat. Oh, okay. Ooh, I want, you know what I'm going to do? What up? I'm going to take the gold. Take the wheat. Um, I really want to build the knight. So I'm going to re-roll these. I get, you get up to three rolls. Okay, uh-oh. There's a bunch of wheat. That's not good. Okay, oops. Green screen just died. Okay. Um, okay. There is this. Oh, man. Did I not? I did not do it. Oh, no, I did. Okay. So these two... This becomes an ore. This is the that, and that's that. Uh, that's out. Okay. So I built a knight. You can build any knight you want. I'm going to build this knight right in the middle. It's going to give me a resource of my choice. Okay. So let's do the second player over here on the right. Y'all want to play along? Let me know. Um, you know, I'm just going to go for it. Y'all want to play? It's cool. Ooh, okay. I got. I'm gonna build a road for this this one here. So that's gonna be one road. Uh, we have an ore. We have a wheat. So if we can buy, buy a sheep, we can build. Um, get a knight too. Okay, there's a bunch of wheat. Last roll. Come on. Hey, there it is. Cool, cool. So you can build as much as you can on your turn. So um, here is a road. So the road you do have to start in the start. So the start is the upper left. And then they also got a knight. Uh, we'll do this knight here. So we each have a resource at our disposal. Okay, next turn. Yeah, I want to thank everyone for hanging out. We are watching Catan Dice Game, the roll and write version of the classic. Ooh. I feel like I should build another, get another knight out there, get those resources. Or, okay, there's that. Speaking of or. There's that. Um, I have a road built as well. So I'm going to try to get a wheat or a wool. Two wool rolls. Two rolls. Hey, there it is. First the road, road right here. And then I have another knight right here. I'm going to do that. So I have two resources at my disposal, wilds. Okay. So this is how. Now, friends, where is that piece of paper I had? I had. Oh. Where did I put? Oh, here it is. I have a surprise for y'all. I have a surprise. So we have Catan the dice game. We have the two rule sheets, right? We have Island 2, Island 1. We're playing Island 2 right now. On BGG, if you go there, they have... You can print this out. Catan dice game extra. This is going to be like what we're playing right now. The Island 2 where it's multiplayer... You, it's a race of 10 points. The dice game on BGG, they have a map that you can print out and play multiplayer on the same map. So this is very much like the original Catan game, right? Um, and actually, it, it also has the longest, oops, has the longest road and the biggest army. Uh, what you do here, instead of marking on your sheet, you'd have like, you just get a token and you, you know, you place your color cube. Like if you're yellow, you put it here and it'll shift between players. Um, I have not played this one. I just printed out, printed this out before we came on air. And they do have a couple of extra rules. Um, it's just, it's like three pages of rules on BGG. I'm, I'm, I really want to play this. Um, I think Michelle would like this. I think we're going to try to try this, um... Hopefully real soon. Um, but yeah, there is that on BGG. Uh, Mike says, where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> well done, friend. I always love a good Back to the Future reference. Um, it is this player's turn. You know, just so I remember, uh, I need some kind of token here. I'll do this. 
Excuse me for a second, folks. So it's this player's turn, and I think there's a pug at the at my door here. So, Bruno, are you here? Hi, Bruno, come on in. Okay, y'all can't see him, but Bruno just walked in. Um, he's here. I don't know if he's going to... Hey, Bruno, do you want to come up here? No? You, you're just going to sit there? Okay. Hopefully he'll make an appearance. So, thanks for hanging out. Uh, it is this player's turn. I'm going to roll the dice. Wheat. Lumber. Ore. Lumber. Wool. Hey! We can do another night. Okay, so far we're, I'm doing the exact same strategies for both, but I like those nights. They give you a little flexibility. Uh, there's lumber. Um, let's try to get another road. Brick. There it is. Brick. Okay. So they're going to get this night, and they're going to build... Hmm. Okay, this will get them right to a city. So they have a settlement city next turn. Okay. This player's turn now. Okay, aha. Um, okay, I need another road. So here's a brick. And then can I build a settlement? Um, brick settlement is going to be a wool. And I need a brick and lumber and wheat. Okay, so I don't have lumber or wheat. I do have a wild here. Um, hmm. I can save the wild and try to roll a wheat or one of these things. Okay, let's do that. Okay, there's the wheat. Sweet, wheat. Okay, wheat. And then this is wild. Um, so I'm gonna, I have one more roll. Maybe I can roll the uh, lumber. Nope, didn't. So this moves over here. This becomes the lumber I needed. These are out. I have done the first development right here. So developments are worth one point. Okay, so this player has one point. And um, I think the longest road, I think you have to have at least three before you um, get it started there. Longest road, if you're the first player to build a road on the building site shaded gray. Building site. Oh, over here. So once I get to um, one of these players gets to here on the little, I don't know if y'all can see it. Um, I'll put it up here. Once you get to the gray, whoever's first there will get the additional point for longest road. And then largest army. Um, so we each have two knights. Uh, if you're the first, oh, first player to build three knights, that's where you get the largest army bonus. Okay, so that's the end of that player's turn. We go over here. Okay, ooh. Maybe this, it's this turn. Okay, you know what? Tell you what. Let's try to, let me see, two of those. Oh, they can get a city. We're going for the city. So two of these, two of these. Yeah. Need a, need one ore. But we do have the wild, just in case. Okay. Oh, hey. That, that actually worked out. Two gold. Turn one of those into an ore. There it is. Um, they have built... Oh, you know what? I don't. I didn't build this development first. I, I think I have to build a development just like in the real game. Or in the base game. So developments... Or settlements. Sorry, I always say development. So, um, you can only build a city adjacent to a road you already built. Okay, it doesn't say anything about that. Okay, so I think you, I, I, according to the rules, I can just build the city without building the settlement. So um, I'm going to build this city here. I built this city. Uh, that's going to be two points. Okay, so this player has two points. This player has one. Goes back here, player one. All right. Uh, ooh. Okay, ooh, this. Now, technically... Oh, I need to get another road, though. So, lumber. Let's build a bunch of roads. Tell you what. I'm going to try to build a bunch of roads here. Lumber. Uh-oh. Come on. Brick. Really? No brick. All, all the lumber. I really hate wasting this resource 
here. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. Let, let's see what happens. So I passed that turn. I was not, I had a bad roll. This is brick, brick, wool, or wheat. Okay. So this one, we've got a brick, this. I'm gonna save that brick. Let's, I'm gonna, I wanna build two roads. And then, do I have to build on the shaded area? Longest road. If you're the first to be able to build a road on... Okay, so you have to build it on that shaded area. So, let's continue. I've got two re-rolls. There's a lumber, which I needed. Nice. Last re-roll. Ooh, close. I Now I could do it. You know, I'm going to rush it. So, I've got one, two roads. One, two. I am going to use one of these resources here to get another lumber which is giving me my third road which gives me the longest road i put a little check mark so i have two four points now then we go to this player okay let's roll again for my turn how's everyone doing out there hope you're doing all right welcome to tabletop tonight my name is ruel happy that you're here tonight hanging out with me as i play Catan the dice game um, now this player, my, my, I really want to, oh my gosh, they've got two, okay, let's see what I, okay, I need to build some roads, that, that's what it comes down to, uh, oh, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to get another knight, there's another knight, that's going to give me a resource, and then I'm going to re, re-roll, oh, you know what, no, I can do this, okay, cool, I've got a, enough resources to build a knight, and because I was having trouble earlier building, uh, getting brick, was a brick? Yeah, I, just because I, I had so much trouble getting brick, I'm going to circle a brick. So now I have a brick and two other resources for future turns. For this turn, though, I have a brick. I have two resources. I'm going to turn one into a lumber, and that allows me to build a road. Now this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to concede this road development here. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a road here so I can build a city next turn I do have one two three knights now so I get the largest army so three points uh, two plus one is three two plus two is four okay all right uh, they are gonna what are they gonna go for um, they can do a, a settlement okay a settlements gonna be a lumber a wheat uh, a brick you know what, maybe they should get another knight as well. So let's save this and this. Oh. We're going to do a combo. We're going to first, uh, that's going to be the end of their turn. They're going to stop with the dice there. What they're going to do now is... Yeah, let's do this. Um, they're going to take this wheat, this ore, and this is going to become a wool. Okay, for the knight, we're going to give that knight, let's see, we'll say they are going to take the knight for, um, oh, you know what, we'll, we'll do a, a wool. Okay, and then, oh, this one they won't be able to do anything with, though. Okay, they had another roll, one final roll, so I'm going to roll, re-roll this one. Hopefully it's a uh, brick, they can make a road, nope, they cannot. Okay, so that's the end of their turn. They did another knight. Now they have one, two, three knights as well, but the uh, largest army is still me. Let's go back over here. Slivers, hi! Thanks for joining us. Uh, Slivers, we are playing Catan the Dice Game. This is the roll and write version of the classic. Okay. Ooh, I can build a bunch of roads this turn. I'm just soloing it tonight, Slivers. Okay, there's that. So I could build one, two roads. Do I want to do that, or do I want to try to build a settlement? Let's do this. We're going to build this road here, and then I'm going to... This settlement here is going to require lumber, brick, and I have to roll these two. Okay, and then roll them again. I need a wheat and a wool. Wheat and wool. No wheat and wool, but I do have... Um, hmm... I do have two resources I can build. You know what? I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna take those two. I'll just take the two roads. 
One, two. Okay, back to this player. Oh, so let's play the second session of Sleeping Gods tonight. So fun. I cannot wait to play that game. It looks so good. Yeah, it seems a bit Amanda's interest too. I, it's, it seems like it's like the, the game right now. I know the Brothers Murph were talking about it. I think, uh, was it Dave Luza? Was he playing that earlier today? Or was that this weekend? Okay, this player's turn here. Um, got that. Um, oh, they could probably build a settlement too. Okay. Uh, wheat. Yeah. That. Uh, this is wild. So let, let's try to roll. They need a, a wool. There's the wool. Okay. And tell you what, I'm gonna. I got one more reroll. Might as well try to turn this into a lumber, and that's right. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So they get this. This is gonna become a lumber. That's four resources needed for a settlement. That's going to be right here. They get another point. So they're at 3-5. I am at 3. That's just a race to 10. Uh, Sliver says yes, he was. Okay, cool. Yeah, race to 10, just like in the actual base game of Catan. Um, okay, I think I'm, I need to jump on some points here. So let's see. I got a lump. Or I mean a... Huh. I could do this. Let's try to get a wheat and get another knight. There it is, right there. Another knight. Um, I have... Hey, can we do two knights in a row? Let's see what happens. Technically, I could. So these wouldn't count. I could use my wilds here. But let's do this first. This is a knight. Um, I'm going to circle the ore here. I could do... No, you know what? I'm going to start with stop with that knight. Next turn, we're gonna get some get something happening. Here. All right, now we do this player's turn. They have built. Oh, they already built that city. They can build a development though. The development will be boom, boom, boom. They just need a wall right now. Oops, I forgot to reroll this. Wall. Nope. Okay, now one more time. Wall. No wall. But they do have a wild, so they can take this resource. Wool, those for a development or a settlement right there. So, another point to my opponent. They've got six points. Uh, two, four, six. Uh oh. One, two, two. Okay. So, they they only ha they have the three knights. I have one, two, three. I also have three knights. I thought I had four. One, two. Oh, okay. Now, it still remains with me unless they got another knight. So, I need to build a knight just to make sure. There's that, that, and I need an ore, which I don't have. Or nope. Um, you know, I'll save that just in case. Okay. Hey, got exactly what I wanted. So this is gonna become an ore. That'll give me another knight. Um, we're, I'm gonna do the wheat. So one, two, three, four knights. I still have the largest army. Um, and then I have a brick and a um, wood. So that's going to go here for a road. So now I'm tied for the road. I could take those two points back. Oh, I forgot. This was supposed to go here. Now it goes back to this player. Okay. All right. Uh, this player, my opponent, has two wheat, two bricks, this and this. What do they want to build? Uh, they've got another settlement they could build. Yeah, you know, let's just grind away on the points here. Boom, boom, boom. All they need is a lumber. They did not get it there. They did get it there. Okay. So they built a settlement right here. So that's another point. They have five, six, seven points. They also have a lumber, lumber, lumber. Uh, they have one wild resource left. They're going to wait on that. So let's go back here. And I'm going to roll on my turn. So I'm really far behind. I've got three. They've got seven, folks. My opponent is outplaying me. But what up? Not uh, not on my watch. Uh, there's that. Uh, three of those. I have the wilds to get the city. But let's try to get them here so I don't have to use them. Okay, there's a wheat. Final reroll. Come on, wheat. Oops. Come on, wheat. No wheat. That's okay. 
I'm going to use this wheat here. And then these resources, I built my first city for two points. One, two. Back in the game, I've got five, they've got seven. All right, y'all are talking about sleeping gods. Uh, like a choose your own adventure game. Open roll, good mixed adventure, exploration, question and comment. Yeah, love Ryan Lockett. Such a clever designer. Okay, hey, by the way, uh, friends, if you have, if you didn't, already please check out good looking kickstarters we had an episode drop last uh last week uh becca scott and i host that show uh it's every two weeks and we talk about all the cool kickstarter projects we're into uh your friend dakota dakota thank you for joining us i was just we were just talking about you dakota and here's why have you played this game dakota the royal rumble card game i think you'd be awesome at it I was talking to uh, people in chat. I'm, I wanted to play this. I uh, got this a while ago from Robinsberger. And Michelle and Lauren, they're not really in the theme. Um, so I, I just, you know, held on to it. I think I'm going to play a two-player game with my buddy Daryl. But we were talking about all the people that would love to play it. I think, Coda, this this would be it. Um, this would be fun. It's got the classic, uh, you know, wrestlers. Um, Macho Man. Uh, Andre's in here. Uh, Mankind. Um, I think The Undertaker. Jake the Snake. All, all the classic... Uh, wrestlers but anyways thanks for joining us let's get back to the game i'm playing katan the dice game i've just rolled for my opponent um they're in the lead right now um what they need to do okay they see me coming up i'm looking at that longest road they're going to build a road just to make sure they keep those keep the road oh hey they also rolled enough for a night so they're going to build a road so they keep the longest road they're going to build another knight. Uh, let's give them the uh, ore. So they have one, two, three, four knights. I have one, two, three, four knights as well. If they get a fifth, they'll get another point. So I don't want that to happen. It is my turn. I'm going to hydrate. Dakota says, I have. I really want to get it. I love wrestling theme stuff because most of the time it's really bad, but that looks good. Yeah, this is actually, from what I heard, it's supposed to be a pretty good game. Uh, James, hey, thanks for joining us, James. Have a good night, friend, um, and uh, we'll see you soon. Um, I will be back tomorrow, by the way, uh, with Michelle. We're going to be, uh, be playing Fossil Canyon, an educational and a fun card management game of set collection. going to learn about dinosaurs. Okay, it's my role now. Um, what do I want to do? I feel like i got to keep the largest army because they're so close to winning. I need to build another knight, so... Or, unlock another knight which i am going to do here uh i'll tell you what i'm gonna try to get two of them okay there's this and all those sheep okay there's a wheat which i don't need there's an ore which i did need okay cool cool i'm gonna build two knights the first one is here um we'll get that there and then i'm gonna use my ore oh do i want to use that ore there no, I don't. No, I'm not going to use the ore. No. What I'm going to do is use the brick. So I use a brick and this um, wood to get a road. I'm now tied. So if I can get ahead, I'm going to steal those two points from my opponent. Dakota says, um, fun fact, my girlfriend's in an internship at an animal sanctuary. Oh, nice. Her roommate's dad worked on that game. Oh, no way. Works around. That's so cool. Right on. Such a small world. I mean, the, the board gaming, it's so funny. You know, the people you meet come across. It's, it's so cool. Okay, let's see what my opponent does. Okay, my opponent sees I'm trying to sneak up here to get another road. They, they're they probably going to put another road there. Uh, can they build? They've built these settlements. Um, hmm. Okay, they can build two roads, actually, if they do this. Yeah. Okay, they're going to build two roads this turn. Here's what they're going to do. They're going to do this one here, so they're ahead of me. They're going to take this. Uh, two golds equal a resource of your choice. There's that. And they're going to build a road here. So just in case, they're going to build that extra city. For another two points, they're going to get even that much closer to victory. Kanye says, Luchador, Mexican wrestling dice is a... F oh, my friend Oscar has that game, Kanye, and I've always wanted to play it. That looks fun. I love the whole, you know, Luchador, um, the masks and stuff. I think it's such a cool thing. 
Uh, Dakota says, I want to do a wrestling RPG. Oh, next, that's cool. That would be awesome. I totally think you should do it, Dakota. Okay. Uh, it's my turn now. What am I going to do? Can I get here? I can build settlements. I, I think, I feel like I need some big points here. So let's do this. Two of those. And a road. Um, okay. Let's see if I can roll two ores. There's one. Come on, one more. Okay, that's okay. I'm going to build a road first, right here. I'm going to take two of these. Whoops, it was two wheats. I have one ore. I need two more ores. I'm going to use this ore here and my wild. And I've built a city. I built this city. One, two points. So now I'm at seven. My opponent is also at seven. A very close game, folks. See what happens. All right. Um, how close? Am I? Okay. I don't think they're worrying about my road building yet. They're gonna try. Do they want to try for that? No. So the dice didn't really help them on this roll. Um, they've got this city here. Maybe they should try to get another knight because that'll get. Well, they do have this resource here. Okay. There's the wheat. Bunch of brick. Okay, they could build another road to. Here. Okay, they they never reached this, so they're they're good. Um, I think they're gonna try to get some resources, and by doing that, they're gonna build some knights. So they got one wool. These unfortunately don't do them any good. Let's see what this? Okay, there's another wool. Um, so they need wool, wheat, and ore, which is they did not build any of that stuff. Um, do they have any developments? They have built this develop one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so. They're already built out on that. Wow. Okay, that was something else. They could save that gold just in case. If they get, roll another gold, they get... Well, actually, that doesn't even do any good. Roll them all. Okay, gold. Okay, that was a bad roll for them. Good roll for me. <clears throat> they could do... Okay, they have an ore. Yeah, they, they have no option. They can... They can waste this resource to build a road, which does them no good. Yeah, they're going to have to pass. They don't do anything. Woo, lucky for me. Kanya. Um, Dakota says, I love Lutador. Uh, Kanya says, we sing that all the time when we play Catan. Also, the Crosby, Stills, and Nash song, Wooden Shifts. I don't know the Crosby, Stills, and Nash song. I do know. I, is it Jefferson's Starship? Is that the one that sings We Built the City? Okay, did I just roll this? I, I don't remember. Um, it's getting late for me, folks. I, it's, I've had a long day. I'm gonna re, uh, I'm gonna start my turn right now. Okay, there it is. Um, okay, I've already built that city. I need. To, I can build a development, or I can try to steal the longest road, which I, I think I'm gonna do. This. Shoot. You know what I'm gonna do? I can go here. Oh, do I do it? I've got this resource here that's wild. If I can build a road for, and then another, oh, I'm so close. Okay, I'm gonna reroll these two. Okay, that, did, that didn't do me any favors. Actually, it might have. I need two wheats. Or I can do this. Um, I've got that. I can get my final knight. A final knight and a road to set me up for next turn. Okay, so I'm going to reroll all these three. Let's see if I can get a wheat or something. Let's see what we got. Ugh, nothing. Okay, that was, that was not fun. That was not fun. I also had a bad turn. Um, I got lumber, lumber, this, this. I could build a road here to get set myself up for the city here. You know, I'm going to... Ah, man, do I do that? I don't want to. Okay, let's see what happens to my opponent. Starship, yes, thank you. Okay, let's see what my opponent does. 
Brick, brick, a lot of bricks. Whew. Okay, they got these two. Let's see if they can build that city. They've got four. Four dice to go. Let's see if they can build this city right here. What's that? Oh, they're going to do it. They got three or one wheat, and then they're going to use this wild one as a wheat. They're going to build this city. So that was five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very close to winning. I've got seven. Okay. Okay. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to steal that longest road from them. I'm going to go here, here. And I'm going to roll again. I've got two rolls. There's that. Come on. There's that. Okay. I've built two roads. One, two. I have taken the longest road bonus. So they no longer have it. I have it. So I have four. I have nine. They have five, six, seven. Do I want to build another? I cannot. Okay. So it is swung in to my advantage. Let's see what happens to them. Um... Okay. They've got three right off the bat. They're going to try to build that city to get a couple of points. They've got a wheat. Oh, wait, that wasn't... Oh, that was my bad. I thought that was an ore. I'm going to re-roll it. Okay. So now they have the ore. Uh, they need one wheat. They did not get it. Do they have... They don't have... Oh, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt them. Okay, back to me. What do I need? I need to build a development for the wind. Or a settlement for the wind. I have a five... Yeah. Settlement, and I have a wild, and I have a wheat, uh, a wool. So, I'm going to I'm gonna call it right now, folks. I think I've got the wind. Uh, there's a wheat. There's a brick. Uh, or brick. I need a lumber and a wool, but I have those two. I'm going to roll it out anyways, just because... There's that. Roll one more. And I did not get the lumber, but I have the brick. The lumber, I'm going to use the wild. I have a wool, and I have a wheat. I can do this development or settlement right here for a point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Longest road, eight. Largest army, ten. I've done it. Woohoo! Do I have? Uh, do I still have my victory sound? Let me see if I still have that. It is maybe in this section. Do I have my victory sound? I do not have my victory sound. I used to have a victory sound. I'll have to reprogram it. But friends, that is Catan, the dice game. As you can see, the first island's cool for solo play or multiplayer. But this island too is really neat because it really captures um, the feel of the original game, but in a roll and write form. I played a two-player game. You can play up to four, I believe. Uh, GG, thank you, Amanda. And as I mentioned earlier, over on BGG, they do have what is called the Catan Dice Extra rules. And that gives you a map that you can play with another player. You both play on the same map, so you're fighting over you know, roads, trying to build roads, settlements, and um, cities, just like in the real game. Um, and it keeps the basic structure rolling and uh, riding. Um, I want to thank everyone for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it. Hope you all had a good time hanging out. I always do here. Thank you for your spending part of your day and or night here with me. Uh, again, my name is Ruel. This is Tabletop Tonight. Michelle and I are going to be back tomorrow. What are we going to play tomorrow? Glad you asked, Ruel. We are going to play Fossil Canyon. This is our, from our friends at um, Polyma Polymath Play. Polymath Play. Uh, they're an educational company. Um, this uh, game was designed... Uh, the game designer... And they also, a game designer and consultant are in the educational fields. Um, they actually have someone consulting that works for the Chicago um, Museum. Um, of, and they like actually work with fossils and stuff. They actually discovered like some fossils. It's a cool story. Um, join us for it. It's a set collection card game. Uh, very family friendly. Um, and there's a little bit of like end game goals that uh, gamers will appreciate. Uh, Michelle and I ran through it tonight as a two-player game and just practiced it. We had fun with it. Um, I learned a lot about dinosaurs tonight, so tomorrow we're going to learn more about dinosaurs. So please join us there uh, for Fossil Canyon. Uh, I want to thank Catan again for sponsoring tonight's episode. And hey, the Catan water, bo uh, water bottle, you can get it at the Catan shop, friends. 
Uh, let's find someone to raid. I want to thank Amanda as uh, always for being the awesome chat moderator that she is. Uh, we are going to raid. Do, 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 do. Um, who did we raid last time? I think we raided uh, Bonds last time. Maybe we can. Uh, I know Defub is up. Who else is uh, streaming right now? We've got. Whoops. Uh, Defub. Hunter is on. Oh. Maybe we should. Uh, let's raid Hunter. Hunter Shelburne is, uh, Shelburne is um, works for Steve Jackson Games. I think he, I don't know, is he playing Warhammer? He might be painting, but, you know, we're going to raid Hunter. Say hello. Show some love to Hunter. He's a really great guy. Um, well, I know him through the internet, and um, he just posts great stuff on Twitter, and he runs, uh, he works over at Steve Jackson Games. Thank you, Corthane. Thank you, Beyond Dead 13. Thank you, Slivers. Thank you, Liz. Uh, Lizelle. Uh, hi. Thank you, Kanya, and thank you, everyone. Um, stick around for the raid. I am going to, where is the... Uh outro okay i'm gonna start the raid in just a second here uh stick around for that thank you so much um where is the button ah can't find the button stick around for the raid thank you friends have a great night see you tomorrow bye Cold.